Hello, what's up, everybody? It is your sister at heart. My name is Princess Sanja, and I am here again with another psychological video. Today's video is how to deal with a narcissistic family member. I'm going to give you six things that you can do, okay, in order to actually be able to safeguard yourself and actually make sure that you don't fall for victim because these people can be very, very dangerous for you hence is the reason why um, i came back with this video if you're coming for the first time please do press subscribe button down below so that you can become part of the family to those people who don't know what is a narcissist a narcissist is a person who has unrealistic expectations they're always um, thinking things and they're not willing to work for them but they think that they deserve something secondly they dehumanize others other people are not as important as they are. They feel as if everything around is revolving around them. Okay, they like empathy, which is one of the most um, scary things about uh, narcissists because they don't know how to feel sorry for somebody, but they always play a victim because they feel that that they need to be felt sorry for. So sorry has to go to them most of the time. They are also obsessed with how they appear to other people. Most of them they obsess about how they look, but most of the time, also they obsessed about how other people think of them you know what people think and say about them they will do whatever it takes to make sure that they try to paint a particular picture about who they are they have pride obviously they exaggerate their sense of who they are you know they may oversell themselves when they are really not who they say they are they don't know how to take criticism and when you criticize this kind of people it can actually backfire or actually make things worse so you gotta know how to handle these kind of people. They have envy, they have mood swings, um, they have broken relationships as well. If you look into the history, there's always some uh, some deep relationship brokerage uh, during the history of their life that had happened. So they don't know how to keep healthy relationships. They also have low self-esteem and they always need approval from other people they need to be approved all the time that they are fine they are right you know they don't believe in themselves and maybe this is somebody who is in your family and maybe you were not aware that they're narcissistic and obviously you need to be uh, diagnosed by a psychiatrist and a psychologist to be you know, fully diagnosed that you're a narcissist but there are some things like this list that i've actually given you that you can look into and there's no way that the person can actually fit all of the descriptions it is much likely that they are actually narcissistic you do not confront and criticize a narcissist you might think that you're making things better by trying to talk things out and actually point out how they make you feel and the things that they do that are not right they will only hear that you are criticizing them they, like like i said they dehumanize other people they will not be able to feel sympathy for you they will not see it the way you see it so you do not need to confront them which takes us to number two number two do not allow them to to step on your boundaries meaning that in order for you to be successful in dealing with these kind of people especially if they're family members you are forced to interact with them at some time you need to know what to do in order to interact with them without even getting your heart broken you can create strong boundaries and when you have created your boundaries they need to be delivered through your actions you need to leave your boundaries because like I said, you cannot communicate with this person. You cannot tell them what hurts you, what they do that is actually not right. But they will, because they will either do it more or they will not understand because they don't know how to feel sorry for you. So what you need to do is to step up the level of your boundaries and stick by your boundaries. Do not allow anything or anyone to step on your boundaries. Do not do things that you are not comfortable with. Do not say things that you're not comfortable to say. Do not be into places with them where you don't want to be there. You know what I mean? Try by all means to be in control of your environment as much as possible. And if you do that, you set some boundaries as to what is it that they can do and they can't do to you. You also need to focus on your decisions. These are the people who are highly manipulated, manipulative. They are highly manipulative. They can make you do things and make it seem as if you wanted to do them when they actually did some tricks into making you do what they want you to do they can play a victim there's a long list of the things that they will do in order to make you do the things that you're uncomfortable with but possibly you are an empath which is the which which is the type of people they usually thrive um, on when you are an empath meaning that you feel sorry for people you feel the need to be of service to other people you are giving you are loving you are forgiving 
uh, they love those kind of people. You always become a, a, a victim for a narcissist if you're an empath. So if you are an, 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 an empath, you need to make sure that you focus on your decisions. Always rethink before doing something for them or before you're doing something with them. Try to take some time to hash on it, you know, and think about it and see if it is really your willingness or maybe you are doing it because you are being manipulated to feel sorry for somebody. So you have to make sure that you study your decisions and you focus on what you decide and your choices as well. And also, guys, uh, number five, accept that they are who they are. There is nothing that you're going to cook and give it to them to drink that is going to solve their mental problem. There is nothing that you're going to do that is actually going to make them see things the way you see things. You will always be a bad person if you voice out the bad things they do. They are unable to see that they are wrong. They are unable to see that you are hurting because they think that they are the only one. They always see, they secretly see the best out of everyone and they use it to justify that they are more victim than the other person. So they are unable really to comprehend that somebody else can hurt and, and to feel sorry for somebody. So try by all means to accept that who they are, but accepting who they are doesn't mean that you must accept the treatment that comes with accepting who they are. You can accept who they are, understand that you cannot do anything uh, uh, that you, you can actually do you yourself that can actually make a situation better with them. You can only do, a situ do things that can make a situation better with yourself around them. Okay, so number six, which is the last one, distance yourself as much as you can. <laughs> you know, like so far, I feel this is one of the things that will really help you because if you hang around long enough with a narcissist, you will be the crazy one. I am telling you this for a fact. You will end up being the one who's labeled crazy. They will manipulate the situations and make you react in a manner where you feel like enough is enough. You are tired of being the Mr. Nice Guy. And when you finally go to your breaking point where you act crazy, they will either document that situation or they will always refer to that situation every time when they want to hold something against you and use it and say she's the crazy one. When they are the ones who actually pushed you into that breaking point. So never allow yourself to be in in contact with a narcissistic person because they will always seek uh, opportunities to make you look crazy you know to prove the point to prove that they are the ones who are fine they are acceptable and they are fine um, but you are the crazy one because you can see through what they are doing they don't like people who can see through what they are doing you know so be be, be mindful of, of of that make sure that you distance yourself as possible as you can do not interact or hang around with them unless you really have to and when you do remember your boundaries that there are boundaries that are out there that are there to protect you so maybe they can move to their next victim but it's definitely gonna not gonna be you anymore when you have boundaries another thing which is also important that it was not on the list but i would love to add on um is that if it is possible for you to get counseling after having to deal with a narcissistic family members or a family member somebody maybe who was close to you and you somehow became this person's victim you need to seek for counseling i'm going to actually leave the details down below on the description box where you can find numbers to call and emails and websites which can actually help you especially if you are in south africa that are going to help you into dealing with these kind of people. I hope that this video did find you in a good place, guys. Remember to protect yourself at all times and always do what is best for you. Fill your cup first before you can give to somebody else. Give from an overflow. So from me to you, all I can say is I'll see you on the flip side. Bye.